Hello everyone, welcome to TNA Biosense. Today's topic is types of vegetations. It is very important topic of CSR NEET. So let's discuss the questions. The first question is the type of vegetation in climate having temperature range 5 to 20 degrees Celsius and rainfall 150 to 300 centimeter will be. First option is temperate deciduous. Second option is temperate evergreen. Third option is tega and fourth option is grasslands so we know that the geographical region is distributed into the tropics region then soft tropical region and the temperate region so here the answer is temperate deciduous you can see these are the characteristics of temperate deciduous in case of temperate deciduous plants the annual temperature or weather is 6 to 20 degrees celsius and the annual rainfall is 100 to 250 celsius centimeter and the important features the shrubs, herbs and the fronds, mosses, lichens, grasses, vines are seen. Dominant trees are the oak, maple. It is called deciduous because the trees generally cast the leaves. So you need to choose the answer by keeping the temperature and the rainfall range. The next question is correct order for increasing order of primary productivity is answer is first one increasing order means you have to write first the lowest one first is the ocean then desert then the tropical deciduous forest and the tropical rainforest. So the primary productivity is the rate of rate of production of the organic compounds by the Autotroph. So the answer is first one. Let's discuss the tropical rainforest characteristics. In tropical rainforest, very heavy rainfall from 200 cm per year, dense evergreen trees which do not set their leaves across seasons, western guards and the western coast, parts of the West Bengal and Odisha, north eastern states and the Andaman Nicobar islands of such vegetation. Then the next question is the neat order of productivity in terms of accumulation of drug organic matter per meter square per year for various terrestrial communities is question from gate 2003 life sciences. So the answer is first one tropical forest is highest then the temperate forest then the boreal forest then the cultivated forest. How? The tropical forest generally accumulate 45 kg per meter square of organic matter. Then temperate forest it accumulate 30 to 35 kg meter square of organic matter. The next is boreal forest it generally accumulate 20 kg per meter square of raw organic matter. And the cultivated land it accumulate 1 kg meter square of organic matter. So the highest is tropical. A is the correct option. The next is in India the tropical rainforest occurs in Jammu and Kashmir, Andaman and Nicobar, Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh. So we have already discussed the tropical forests are found in the Andaman and Nicobar. The next is in which of the following the maximum plant diversity is found. This question also we have discussed the tropical evergreen forest that have the maximum plant diversity. Next is among the following which is typical tree of Indian desert ecosystem. So it is a question from desert vegetation. So desert vegetation means mangifera is not the answer obviously. Then these two are also not the answer. The answer is Prosopis senioraria. The next question is the tropical rainforest grow well in area receiving 200 cm of rainfall, 150, 170. We have discussed the answer is 200 cm. So let's discuss the desert vegetation characteristics. The desert vegetation uh, grows in areas where rainfall is less than 10 cm. It consists of thorny leaves and roses. Roots are long and stems are fleecy. Examples are bubble, cacti and kegel. And the trees are mostly scattered. And they are available in Rajasthan and parts of Gujarat, Punjab and Kannada. So this is all about the types of vegetations. First thing you need to remember is the range of the rainfall. Second thing is the range of the temperature. Third thing is the examples of each of the vegetations. For example, they may ask that babul is belongs to which kind of 
vegetation so the answer is desert vegetation and next is and the parts where the vegetations are common you need to remember that also so this is all about the types of vegetations i hope it will help you please do subscribe thank you